Customer feedback is one of the most important aspects of running a successful business. It can help you identify areas for improvement, build better products and services, and even make more money. But what do you do when your customers aren't satisfied? How do you handle negative feedback in a way that will benefit both them and yourself? This video will discuss some strategies for dealing with negative customer reviews on social media or elsewhere online, so they don't damage your business's success. One of the best ways to gather customer feedback is by conducting an in-person survey. Online surveys are another great way to get customer input on your business's performance. These surveys can be completed through email or social media channels, including Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp groups. Social media monitoring tools like Hootsuite allow users to monitor their brand presence across all platforms 24-7 so they know when someone has posted about them in any way, positive or negative. Once you've taken the time to read the negative feedback, it's crucial to analyze the complaints and identify any underlying issues. Is there something you can do to make this customer happy? If so, then great. You'll want to address their concerns as quickly as possible. Is there another way of looking at this situation? If so, use this opportunity as a learning experience for your business. For example, there are some things about how your company handles customer service that needs improvement, and if so, implementing those changes will make everyone happier in the long run. Responding to negative feedback is crucial, you have to respond quickly and thoughtfully, apologize and acknowledge the issue and finally offer a solution. If you cannot fix it immediately, let your customer know when they can expect a resolution. Make sure to keep a record of all negative feedback so that it's easy to find in the future if another customer has similar problems or questions about their experience with your company or product slash service. The best way to prevent negative feedback is by providing excellent customer service. If you are still determining where your customers are or if they're having issues with the product or service, there are a few ways to find out. Respond quickly. When someone posts a review on your business's Facebook page, brings it up with one of your staff in a call slash email or website, respond within 24 hours, preferably within an hour. This shows that you care about their experience and want to help them resolve any issues immediately. Offer incentives. Consider offering special discounts for customers who leave positive reviews on social media sites like Trustpilot and other notable review sites. Also, consider sending out surveys asking for feedback about products slash services so that this information can be used. In future planning processes, email marketing campaigns. Let's recap. You need to analyze customer feedback, identify areas of improvement, and DO implement changes. When you receive negative feedback, the first thing to do is take responsibility for the mistake and apologize. This can be difficult if you're not used to doing so or don't feel like it was your fault. However, taking responsibility will show your customers that they matter and that their opinions are essential. Try implementing changes before offering an apology so that they can see how much effort has gone into making things better. If there are no immediate fixes available, or if they will take some time, then explain why this is so in your response. This can help build trust between you and the customer as well as show them that there's been thought put into resolving whatever issue occurred at hand. Turning negative feedback into positive experiences is a great way to turn your customers into brand advocates. You can do this by creating positive customer experiences, building customer loyalty and generating referrals. In this video, we've discussed how to handle negative feedback from your customers. Don't take it personally. Ask for details and try to understand the situation from their perspective. Apologize if you made a mistake or could have done something better. Explain how you plan to fix the problem in future by offering them an incentive or discount code if they come back again but only offer a little. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel.